Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Luke Ness Monster, episode 26, the series on the channel, where I answer you guys' questions from the comments down below. So if you guys do want your questions answered in next week's video, comment down below on this week's episode, and I'll try to answer them in next week. And before I do get into the first question, I'd just like to say on this channel, I'm doing a giveaway. At 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away this ARC Trooper 3-pack. But you do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter in the giveaway. So if you aren't subscribed or you're just new to the channel, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button because it helps out the channel a lot and helps us get us closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And uh, yeah, this fig this like 3-pack was pretty hard to get when it originally came out. So I managed to pick up a second one, and I just want to give back to the Star Wars community. So if you are new, I suggest you hit that subscribe button. And on to the first question. So the first question from Nick Shafter is actually an amazing question, and it is asking, I'm getting Boba Fett action figure, and I'm trying to decide if I should get a uh, carbonized or a normal Boba Fett. So which one should you recommend? And uh, that's a very good question. I actually don't know. I mean... Uh, I think overall it's really up to you. I absolutely love both figures, and I could highly recommend both of them. I think it just depends on your preference. If you're looking for a normal, displayable Boba Fett, I would go with, of course, the original Boba Fett, or the, I guess, the 40th anniversary one. But if you're looking for a more, like, display, flashy, collectible model, i definitely go with the, uh, the, uh, carbonized Boba Fett. So they are both amazing, and, uh... Again, I would highly suggest both. I think it just comes down to your preference and availability. I believe the uh, the uh, 40th anniversary one is going to be cheaper and more accessible to get. So I guess overall I'd probably recommend that one. But if you are looking for that flashier figure, I'd go with the carbonized one. Infernal Hippo 27 asks, who is your favorite Imperial officer? So I did answer this a few weeks ago, but I'm probably going to have to go with Admiral Piet. I believe he was just one of the officers that got promoted in Empire Strikes Back and then actually was the, like, the lead officer, I guess, all the way through Revenge of the Sith whenever he died with the Super Star Destroyer. And uh, again, just one of the, I feel like, underrated characters of Star Wars that was pretty cool. Didn't have a whole lot of screen time, but I think he's probably my favorite. The next question asks, My question for today is, what four figures would you like to be released in an archive line with photo reel, and what characters do you want to see in the Black series from the original trilogy? So again, that is a very interesting question for the archive line. Um, definitely some of the earlier figures with like the Force Awakens and the Rogue One. Uh, characters that didn't get any photo photo reel and haven't been updated since so I go with like the original release of like the unmasked Kylo Ren would be a great figure to get photo reel same with the uh, original release of Finn and Poe both I think would definitely benefit some from some photo reel but I also think, uh, think Jen Erso and um, Cassian would both be amazing with photo reel and I'm hoping that Hasbro actually does re-release them with some photo reel in the future J. Prasad asks, what is your least favorite superhero? So, uh, that's an interesting question. I don't know if I really know. I mean, there's some superheroes that, I mean, I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to, and there's others that I actually really like. So, I can't really say a least favorite superhero if I don't know them super well. And, uh, so I guess I could have to go with one that I know, and I'd probably have to go with, um... Probably Captain Marvel. I don't know. I did really enjoy the Captain Marvel movie. It's one of my like favorite Marvel movies. Not really. It's just one. It's an enjoyable movie. But I just her effect in Endgame. She didn't really do anything. They're all hyping her up through the movies and everything like that, and she just didn't do anything. So I've got to go with Captain Marvel just for I guess character development. Mick Tapper asks, "Do you think we will get more Clone Wars this year or mostly Rogue One?" So if you didn't know, there's a kind of a rumor going around that Hasbro will re-release the uh, Rogue One line with the photo reel, kind of like they did with the uh, Rebels line this year. And um, I think we definitely will get Clone Wars. There's a leaked clone. That's kind of going around. I believe it might be a 501st Trooper. But there's also some Bad Batch figures that are leaked for this year as well. So we're definitely going to get some of those. And uh, I definitely think we might get the Rogue Ones as well. So I think we're going to get a little bit of both. And uh, hopefully we get figures from all eras this year and not just those two. But uh, yeah, I, honestly, I'd just be happy to see anything that Hasbro makes because I'm kind of wanting some reveals. I know we're only a few weeks into January, but we haven't really got a whole lot this year yet. And I'm kind of... Kind of uh, itching for some more Star Wars. Nick asks, how many Jedi do you think survived Order 66? So, uh, I think this definitely depends. I think there's, uh, like, so the ones you know from the movie, Yoda, Anakin, I guess technically he's a Jedi, uh, like, Obi-Wan, and, uh, you know, some of those Jedi, Ahsoka, but, like, there's always, like, new content comes out, there's gonna be more Jedi, like, Kanan survived, uh, Cal Kestis survived, 
uh, Grogu, I guess, survived. So, like, every every new content that goes around that is going to have more Jedi that keep getting added to it. So, I think the numbers is going to keep getting up, like, higher and higher up as more Star Wars content, like, comes along in the future. But as of right now, I'd say not a whole lot more than 10 or 15, to be honest. Gerald asks, when Mandalorian Season 3 comes out, do you think Mando will get a new type of ship or another like the Razor Crest. So I think it's an interesting question. So I think that Mando is going to get the reward for like turning in a Moff Gideon to the New Republic. And I think he's going to use those credits to buy a new ship. And I think it just depends what type of ship it is. It might be a Slave 1 or like one like a style like that because you did see that. But I kind of doubt it. I think they're going to save that for the Book of Boba Fett TV show. I'd say maybe a new Razor Crest or they might make a brand new ship. And my guess is knowing Disney and Star Wars, they're going to make a brand new ship because it means they can sell more toys. And that's just how Disney works. They can sell more merchandise because of it. So I think he's going to get a brand new ship and it's going to be pretty cool. But Al asks, what do you most want to see in the Bad Batch show? So probably like where like it's kind of like that in between area between episode uh three and four where we don't see a whole lot of actual content and i want to see more of that i want to see what happens like how the republic turns into the empire and i definitely think we're going to see that but one thing i really want to see is how rex gregor and wolf end up on the at uh I don't know. If, I don't know what it's called. The ATTE, I guess it's called, on that one po uh, one planet from Rebels. I want to see how they got there. I also want to see what happened to Commander Cody. That's mainly all I want to see. Everything that fills in between that is perfectly fine with me. Nick and Skinwalker asks, "What do you feel about exclusives like basically all the named clones in the Black Series lineup?" So I think it depends. I think you're gonna have to get some exclusives. Uh, from here to there, and I think the Gaming Greats line is a perfect example of exclusives. But I think some of the like uh, exclusives that are hard to get is where it really starts getting annoying. Like the Walmart wave of figures, those are so annoying to get. Like you got some stores getting 50 at a time, where some stores didn't get any at all. And it's just really annoying with the Walmart pre-order for like the uh, Clone Wars wave that the pre-order system was so hard for that and they kept getting delayed. It was just a, re a really pain to do that. And so some exclusives are good where the ones that are hard to get are just really annoying. One example of this is like the Mando and Baby Yoda 2-pack. My pre-order actually got cancelled and uh, I've been looking in stores. I just haven't been able to find one. Uh, it hasn't gone back up online at Target yet and you know it's just one of those where I want it but it's hard to find and it's just really annoying because I don't want to go to 15 different targets looking for it. Frozen Stream Studios asks, did you get the idea of Ask Lucas Monster from MNR Productions? Ask MNR. And question two, do you think Hazard could make a Black Series Jedi Starfighter or Interceptor? So for the first question, yes, I actually did. I kind of combined it with like Ask Bosk's Bounty as well. But uh, both two series I love to watch and I actually grew up watching Ask or just MNR Productions in general. So I do really enjoy his channel and everything. And I also got the idea of like MNR Vlogs from that as well. I got Luke Ness Monster Vlogs. You know, it's just some of his content that I really enjoy watching. And so I figured I'd try to do it myself because it's something I really enjoy watching. So I thought uh, you guys might enjoy watching it too. And for your second question, I think this would be perfect. It'd be in the perfect scale for a Black Series ship, and I'd love to see it. Like in Episode 2, Anakin, Star or Anakin and or Obi-Wan Starfighter, I guess. Probably an Obi-Wan. I don't think we saw an Episode 2 Anakin one. But yeah, or even a Clone Wars Anakin one would be amazing. I'd love to see like any Jedi Starfighter they can make. Next question says, do you agree Devis is underrated? So I'm sorry, I don't know who this is, so I'm gonna say yes, he is underrated because I've never heard of him. King, bringing it with the really interesting questions every time, but he asks, since they're expanding Star Wars universe on Disney+, Plus, it might be an interesting for them to branch out. What type of genre would you like to see Star Wars try? Detective, thriller, comedy, teen drama, musical, slice of life, military, etc.? I want a Star Wars horror type show. I think a Star Wars horror type show would probably be the only one that would work super well. I think that it'd be really cool to see like a like yeah, just a horror a horror type one, maybe some kind of like random monsters in the Star Wars universe. I think that'd be really cool. I know there's been a few like horror Star Wars books that have been written, but I'd love to see some of this stuff. I don't know of like an entire series, but maybe like a one or two episode short of some of these would be really cool. I think maybe the best one would be like a detective one. Uh, I think because there's a kind of few detective ones of the Clone Wars show, but I think that you know any of these would be really cool. But I think they gotta stick it to the basic Star Wars theme, I guess. Too strong asks, what characters from the Clone Wars series or other clones would you like to see added to the Black Series line? Um, so definitely a Fives and Echo. I've said it 
countless times. We need it. They're pretty much iconic characters from the Clone Wars show, and we definitely need them in the Black series. I feel like at this point, Hasbro knows we want them, and if they aren't working on one right now, we might not get it ever, because... Like, knowing Hasbro as a company, they're going to make what people want. They made Season 7 Clone Wars figures rather quickly, and I think that if they're planning on releasing a 5 Zen Echo, it'll be in the next two years, in my opinion. I think if they're not working on one now, it'll probably be a long time before we get one. Very Star Wars asks, would you want a Black Series ATST? Yes, I think it'd be a really good, uh, like cheap Haslab or an expensive, just standard vehicle. I think it'd be a perfect Black Series scale, and I think it'd be really cool to get an exclusive figure with it. And um, yeah, I think it'd just be a really cool display piece as well. Question says, what's your opinion on the Bo Katan figure? Because I'm thinking about buying it. I think that it looks really good. The face sculpt on it is amazing, and it looks really good to like what the Mandalorian presented. I think it looks amazing compared to that. And it's one of those figures that I think is really cool, and it's one that I want to get. But it's one of those where, like, if I find it in a store, I'll buy it. But it's not one I'm going to have to, like, track down or try to go out of my way to get. It's one of those, if I come across it, I'll buy it. But one of those where, like, I don't necessarily need it in my game. Xavier asks, if the X-Wings didn't show up in The Mandalorian in Episode 2, uh, what do you think would have happened with Mando and the big, like, the big spider? And I think that the spider would have destroyed the Razor Crest and Mando would have been stranded there if he didn't die by the spider. I think that the X-Wings pretty much saved them. And I think that's pretty much what would have happened. I think there's no way of denying it. Skip asks, what's your least favorite figure in your collection? I'd probably say the solo line Lando Calrissian. It's one of those where I just, like, I'm not a big fan of that version of Lando. Don't get me wrong, I love Lando as a character, and I love the actor that played him in the solo movie. It's just I'm not a big fan of the figure itself and how he, I guess, presented Lando as a character. I think that, uh... You know, it's one of me, it's like, what, what it does for me is, I want to see Billy Dee Williams as Lando. It's hard for me to see any other actor play him, so when I see another actor play him, it just doesn't do the same for me. Don't get me wrong, I loved the actor, I love actually how he presented it, I just didn't, I, it's just one of those where it's not the same for me. And I guess it kind of rubs off onto the figure as well. It's a great figure, it's just one that I'm not a big fan and of. And that was actually the last question we have for today, so thank you guys so much for watching, I do really appreciate it. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.